Hey guys, welcome back to a new video by Biology Resumption. So today we are going to be doing chapter 15 of the IGCSE Biology about drugs today. So it is for the syllabus for 2023 to 2025 and also 2026 to 2028. If you have any questions relating to this chapter, you can always feel free to comment down in the comment section below and I'll be there to help you on uh, answering that question. So if not, then let's proceed. So. It's a very short topic, I would say. There's only one subtopic which relates to drugs only. So these are the learning outcomes. It's generally for you to use as a guidance for your uh, study. So please feel free to look through at it a bit closely so they can plan ahead on like what can you anticipate in terms of exam questions coming up from this chapter. Okay, let's go straight. So when we talk about drugs, right? So drugs are... Very important, firstly, is to know the definition, of course, is to know any substance that's taken into the body that modifies or affects chemical reactions in the body. So, it's a substance. It's a substance that's made from factories, made from chemicals, different from a chemical forms like that. And then we actually um, consume it for a reason. Okay, we don't consume drugs based on no, uh, with no purpose or anything like that because these drugs, these which are chemicals, right? They can actually affect some of our chemical reactions in our body. So they can also affect, they can modify, and they can at the same time harm if there's too much being taken or too much being consumed. So all of this is that in our body, we know that drugs can have good effects for us, but at the same time, it can be toxic to certain organs, which is the organ of the liver, where the liver is actually the main one that does all the drug metabolism, meaning breaking down all the drug uh, chemical structures and everything like that in the liver, and then it's passed out to the urine through excretion. So liver is one of the key prone organs that consuming too many drugs can, or medications can actually harm this organ, which is the liver. Okay, now, it's just a very general uh, understanding on like what drugs are. Now we're going to go through one uh, very example is uh, antibiotics. So antibiotics, to be really, really um, clear with this right for everyone, is to know that antibiotics actually work on bacteria only. So this is a medication for curing bacterial infection. So this is for bacteria only. So meaning right, they don't, this drug won't work in viruses it won't work on fungus and any other than that it only works on bacteria only so what do they actually do how does this antibiotic actually work it works by disrupting these crucial systems like bacteria which actually needs to survive and multiply because fun fact if you know that anti uh, this bacteria right they can actually duplicate under 20 minutes for every one time in their binary fission and these antibiotics, what they can do is that they will stop a certain step. They can stop the production of their cell wall. They can stop producing their DNA. They can stop uh, allowing them to do protein synthesis. But what is very important that these antibiotics should not harm human cells. It shouldn't harm us. It's like it shouldn't harm our systems properly, but it only can harm the bacteria. So these medications, they are being really checked and rigorously checked to ensure that the reactions that they do only works on bacteria and not on humans. So nowadays, with the use of antibiotics, antibiotics has been here for a really, really long time. So these bacteria can now be also be resistant to antibiotics. And what can this happen is that this will reduce effectiveness and this patient will need to substitute with many different kinds of antibiotics in order to cure this infection. So fun fact right, is that this antibiotic actually is made out of actually from a fung fungi derivative or you can see a very famous one we know as a penicillin. We will learn about penicillin later on in the chapters and you will realize that this penicillin is actually a very crucial beginning towards how uh, antibiotics are first made when well, they're first introduced into the world in around the 19, uh, 1900s. I'm not specifically sure which particular year. So something to take note is that antibiotics don't work on viruses. Just be very, very remember this is that they don't work on the um, on viruses at all because they do not have a cell wall and make the whole cell perform their task. So it's because of the structure that uh, this antibiotic cannot detect. That's why it won't work on viruses. And you know that virus is literally a non-living thing. Okay, so now we're going to talk about this very major uh, health, um, health problem, or you can say uh, public awareness is due to antibiotic resistance, where antibiotics are firstly consumed 
either incomplete or consumed without any reason. They just uh, basically it's just been prescribed or could be easily accessible and then that could be a problem. Why is that? Because antibiotic resistance can be developed in bacteria, meaning that they can be immune or they can literally shoot off from the effects of antibiotics. Like initially antibiotics are supposed to kill this bacteria, but the bacteria won't be able to die because it's already resistant to the antibiotic, it's resistant to that chemical. And what makes them resistant to it is due to the process of natural selection. And you must have heard about natural selection before. So what happens first is that there will be mutation. Okay, there could be a mutation in their genetics, which actually give rise to them to variate. Okay, because we know that if there's mutation, then there's genetic variation. And in this case, the genetic variation would provide bacteria the ability to still survive without actually being killed by the antibiotics. So these antibodies, they kill the bacteria instead with the bacteria that did not change the genes or did not get the antibiotic resistant gene. And what happens is that they will now compete for food space among others and they will reproduce by via binary fission. The ones that are more competent to survive, the, the, basically the bacteria that survives at the fittest, right, which is having the antibody resistant gene, will be able to pass on this allele. So allele is a specific type of a trait that will be now passed on to offspring for true reproduction. And one very, very big example on this uh, antibody resistant bacteria is known as a methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. So met methicillin is basically the drug, the antibiotic that is resistant to by this Staphylococcus aureus already. Okay, now, Knowing the mechanism on how this antibiotic resistance work through natural selection, we must know how to prevent them. First, we need to make sure that these things can be minimized by limiting antibiotics only when essential. When you have detected a bacterial infection, only you use antibiotics and consult with the doctor properly on how or why am I supposed to be taking this medication? Is this medication justified or not for my condition or for my treatment basically and one more thing is that ensuring treatment is completed what does it mean if let's say the doctor have told you to take this medication for five days and you are able to recover at four days it doesn't mean that at day four or day at day five you should you sh should not you should stop taking this drug because you you tell yourself that i'm already fine why do i still need to take this drug but because we need to completely eradicate 100 percent of this bacteria and you must make sure that you are eat, taking this treatment completely so that all the bacteria in your body is able to be killed okay so properly also because you do not want to have bacteria to be resistant towards the antibiotic that you are taking so that is the reason of why we need to ensure the treatment is completed with that out of the way if you have any questions feel free to uh, ask in the comment section below if not we'll wrap up this chapter and thank you so much for listening bye bye